Hi guys. Um, there is a passage in Hebrews 12 that's been on, on my heart a lot these last few weeks. It talks about how Jesus is going to shake everything that can be shaken. He means created things. So that what cannot be shaken will remain. Do you feel it? Do you feel the shaking? How are you responding to this preliminary shaking? The shaking of your schedule, the shaking of your school choice for a lot of you, the shaking of your finances, shaking of your grocery list even, toilet, peop toilet paper, hello. Um, we have two choices in the shaking. We can cooperate with what the Lord is doing and choose to focus on and invest in what is eternal. Or we can sigh in fear and frustration. I can't wait for everything to just go back to normal while clinging tightly to the very things that the Lord is shaking in some cases. Which one are you choosing? Which one do you want to choose? I want to encourage you with a word that the Lord spoke in December of 2018, over a year ago now. I just kept, um, he was talking to me about a shift in my life. He was asking if he had permission to shift pieces in my life. And I was like, you're God, of course, I thought you already had it. But if you need my permission, yes, you can. So I was asking him more about this shift. And um, he, I just kept seeing a chessboard, which I know less than nothing about. <laughs> And I was just journaling my senses when the Lord broke in and started to speak from his perspective. That's called two-way journaling, and it is such a valuable tool. Mark Verkler teaches about it. I encourage you to Google it if you want to learn more. Um, so I wrote, there's something about the piece that's being moved and the value of it. There's something about the other pieces on the board and the need to detach myself from them and even sacrifice them for the sake of the one piece that's most valuable. Then the Lord spoke to my heart about the one valuable piece. He said, for this piece, I shed my blood. To this, I give myself freely, without measure. This piece bears my image. This piece will remain in the age to come. I will betroth myself to this piece. My covenant and invitation is for this piece. Then speaking about the other pieces on the board, I sensed him say, this piece and others like it make the one piece feel propped up and protected, safe. And they do provide that to a point. But the game maker and plans for the one piece requiring a surrender, require a surrendering of every lesser lover, a burning in the fire of whatever can be burned, and a purifying, refining of whatever remains. So for the last year or so, we have been inviting the Lord to do what he wants and surrender anything that he seems to be asking for. Honestly, it's been painful and intense at times, but great has been our reward. I have so many testimonies I could tell you, but I'm trying to keep this brief. Um, whenever I would complain or feel like quitting, the Lord would whisper to my spirit, Mary Allison, there will come a time when these things will be taken and you won't have a choice and you'll scramble to get your life in order. In my mercy and excellent leadership, I'm letting you in on that now ahead of time. Friends, let's always choose to cooperate with the Lord. Let's surrender and repent of any lesser love that we've turned to over him. When you're connected to the Holy Spirit, you are always prepared. I encourage you to connect with the Lord and stay there. He is truly all that there is in this life. 